Novelist Ayn Rand died over the weekend. She was 77. Rand was born in St. Petersburg in Imperial Russia. She moved to this country during the 1920s after the Russian Revolution, and she grew into an ardent believer in laissez-faire capitalism. Her first novel, The Fountainhead, appeared in 1943. Later came Atlas Shrugged and other works in which Rand set forth a controversial but coherent philosophy called objectivism. Rand's characters were heroic. They had passionate love affairs, but ruled their emotions with reason. They lived in a world with no religion, no faith, driven only by what longtime associate Leonard Peikoff calls rational self-interest. It doesn't mean doing whatever you feel like and running rampant over other people. It means pursuing your own interests by the use of your own mind, by your own productive actions, trading with others freely, voluntarily, when both parties agree to the transaction. Doesn't that philosophy conflict in some ways with many Western religions? It conflicts with every religion, Western or Eastern. Uh, she's an atheist. She does not believe in God. She does not believe in faith or any form of revelation. And she certainly does not believe in any form of religious ethics. For instance, she rejects the whole idea of commandments as uh, a proper phenomenon in ethics. Ethics, he says, has to be a science, a rational science, and has to be proved. And there's no sense of social responsibility in her philosophy, then, to take care of those who, who have not done as well as one has oneself. No, she does not accept that man has a responsibility to others. She does hold that man has to be consistent in his pursuit of values. If you have a friend uh, whom you admire and like, who is in trouble through no fault of his own, it is perfectly proper for you to come to the aid of that person, help with money, time, whichever. In the name of friendship, not responsibility. Right, in the name of friendship or of the values that you see in that person. Or if you meet a stranger in trouble, uh, and you can help through no sacrifice, through no sacrifice, then you do it in the name of the potential value of a human life. But wherever sacrifice is involved, she holds that you cannot morally ask a living being, including a human being, to put something above his own life and his, uh, his own rational self-interest. How does she, or for that matter, how do you uh, deal with the question of those who don't manage so well for themselves? As so, Those who don't manage so well, it depends for what reason they don't manage. Some people don't manage so well uh, because uh, they are morally lax. Uh, they don't wish to exert the effort. To put it in blunt terms, they're, they're lazy and unproductive. Well, how about those who don't manage so well because they're systematically discriminated against or they have been disadvantaged one way or another by well, society? Uh, yeah, she, of course, is a complete opponent of racism of any kind because she advocates individualism. And individualism means a man has to be judged by his own character and attainments, not by the color of his skin. By the same token, however, she is an advocate of capitalism, which means separation of state and economics, which means that there can be no government-enforced discrimination and no government-enforced uh, anti-discrimination, and that the reason for uh, discrimination is corrupt ideas, and that the only way it can be fought is not by governmental handouts or reverse discrimination, so-called, but by changing the whole philosophic basis of the country, and that's what her life was uh, devoted to. Leonard Peikoff worked with Ayn Rand for 30 years. Her last piece of writing was an introduction to his forthcoming book about objectivism. It's called Ominous Parallel.